Back to our beach YouTube channel. Today's class, we learn how to make this beautiful shoulder and waist draped empire blouse. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. If this is something you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. So to make this empire dress, we are going to be drafting our basic bodies. The athlete I'm working with is 18 inches, as we have here. So I'm just going to quickly draft my basic bodies. My shoulder measurement is 15 divided by 2 is going to give me 7 and half. Ham hole is 8 and half inches. And this is my half length. So I'll make this into a straight line. And then I'll go down here by 1 inch from my shoulder slope. So for my neckline, I'm going to be using a neckline of 3 inches by 3 inches tentatively. That's my normal neckline and I will draw this. I'll draw a curve. Okay. So now I'm going to connect my neck point to my shoulder slope. And then on my chest line here, I'll take my bust measurement. The bust is 40 divided by 4 is going to give me 10 so I have 10 inches here for my bust and then I'm going to draw out my hand or please I'm just doing a quick basic body sketch if you don't know how to do this kindly look through the channel you're going to get a video on how you can draft your basic bodies properly so on my waistline the waist I'm working with is 32 inches very by 4 is going to give me 8 inches so 8 inches here plus 1 inch from that I have 9 inches next thing is to connect this so this is connected now I'm going to take my dart bust point divided by 2 I have 8 inches as my bust point divided by 2 is going to give me 4 inches so my dart is going to stop 1 inch below my my nipple point so my nipple point is one eleven I have one inch below it here so on that point I'm going to take another bust pan measurement which is four inches and then I'll make this into a straight line so here I'm going to take half an inch on both sides for my dart and then I'll connect this so you can either add your seam allowance on your pattern or you transfer when you transfer to your fabric so i'm just adding one inch for seam allowance on my pattern and then i'm going to connect this so i can cut this house now this is my basic bodies pattern so i have my basic bodies drafted like this but i want to use this to also cut my back before i modify it to my empire waistline so for my back my neckline is going to be three inches by one inch so I'm just going to connect that now and go ahead to cut out my back panel. So I've gone ahead to cut this for my back now and I'm going to set this aside and work on this for the front. So to create the empire waistline, the first thing I need to note is where I want my 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 neckline to stop. Okay, it's a v deep V neckline as you have seen on the thumbnail. So for me, I want it to be around. 12 in, around 12 to 13 inches from my upper part here so if i want it to be 12 inches i'm going to stop it here that's going to be just a little below my bust point so it can be 12 it can be 13 but i'm just leaving it at 12 and a half inches that's going to be the depth of my neckline so from there now i'm going to connect to my neck point to form my deep v neckline okay so now this is my new neckline and then to create that to create that waistline i'm going to measure my under bust because that's why i want my upper part to stop so now the under bust that i'm working with my the under bust of the person that i'm working with is actually 14 inches so here from the upper part here i'm measuring 14 inches you don't have to work with your under bust if you have a particular place you want this waistline to stop you just need to measure that but i'm just using my under bust and my nipple point as a reference point so that we can have some numbers 
to this so now after doing that now the next thing is for me to connect from this point to this to form my entire waistline so it depends on how you want it to go you can just connect it straight or you just make it a bit curved like i am doing i'm using this slightly curved part of my ruler so after connecting it i'm going to connect this to my seam allowance so this is going to be my entire waistline area but if you notice this waistline this lower part here carries the button this does not have a zipper at the back it has a button so when we were folding this i did not have space for my button allowance so i'm just going to measure one inch from this paper and then i'm going to use my masking tape to attach it to this lower part alone because this is where my button is going to stop so i've got this paper now i'm just going to extend this 12 and half inches that i marked here so the next thing is for me to take my button allowance and then i'm using one inch for my button allowance so i'm measuring one inch on the upper part here and then also on the lower part and i'm going to make that into a straight line so i'll cut this off then i'm going to connect that so now i'm going to cut this off so when you're drafting your basic bodies you may just leave one inch for your button allowance before you draft so now i'm cutting this off because i don't need it again okay so this is what my button hole is looking like now so now the next thing is for me to we're going to be fixing our button here so the next thing is for me to detach this empire waistline from my upper bodies so i'm going to detach this now and then i'm also going to close this waist dart that i have here so i'm closing the waist dart and then using my masking tape again i'm going to okay so i'm coming this now and then i'm going to set it aside so now we work on this so i'll cut out my neckline so this is totally up to you if you want to hard gathers on your shoulder that shoulder line and your waistline here i'm going to be introducing more volume to this using slash and spread method but if you don't want to add any volume you can just cut this out and then sew it directly to the lower parts of your bodies so because i want to be adding this volume now i'm going to divide i want to have like three style lines so i'm going to be dividing what i have on my shoulder by four so i have around four and a half inches so I'm just going to measure one one inch or 1.25 inch interval here and here i'm measuring 1.25 inches okay so i want one here one here and one here okay so i've divided this into three and then the next thing using my ruler you can just make sure exactly what you have here so that i can have a straight line i have around one inch so on the lower part here I'm measuring the one inch one inch and one inch so now I'm going to be connecting them together to form a straight line so these straight lines are going to be my style line which I'm going to slash I'm going to cut it and then spread it out directly on my fabric or on another paper so before you cut this house now because by the time you cut it out they will look similar so you need to label them one two and three and then you indicate that this is the upper part so that you don't get confused by the time you cut it out so after doing that the next thing i'm going to do now is to cut this out so i just want to take my paper so that i don't get confused so i have my fresh paper now i'm going to spread it i'm going to slash it but before i slash it completely i just want to show us if you want your volume you want to add your gathers to the lower part alone so what you just need to do is cut up to your shoulder points but you're not going to cut through your shoulder you can see how i'm cutting this 
and then when you are spreading it on your paper you just spread like this so you can see that your spreading is just on the lower part it's not going to get to your shoulder area but in this case we want to have our spread on both the shoulder and the waist that's why i'm cutting it out completely so i'm cutting the third one and now i'm going to spread this so i'll place the first one using my masking tape i'm going to hold it on the upper part and also on the lower part so after spreading the first one you know you measure how much you want to spread this so i want this to be spread by one and half inches so from where this stops i'll take my tape now and place one and half inches so we have one and half inches i'm going to take my number two so you can see that they are similar if you don't label it you get confused so i have my number two like this and then using my masking tape i'm going to hold it down I'll also go to the lower side so that I'll have the same thing. I'll measure one and a half inches and then I'll spread it to one and a half inches and also hold it down. So the same thing that I've done now, I'll repeat it for the third one. I'll take my tape measure now. I measure one and a half inches and then I'll place it like this and hold it down. And then I'll go over to the lower part now and do the same thing. So this is what you need to do. So if you have more than three style lines like or like this, you apply the same method to place them to spread. So I have the third one. I'm going to do the same thing for the fourth one also. So I've spread them completely. Now the next thing is for me to take my ruler and connect all these lines. So I'm connecting like this. I'll connect my handboard also, and also on the lower part, I'm going to connect it. So you can see how simple it is to slash and spread. So the next thing now is for me to cut exactly what I have here out. So you can also spread it directly on your fabric, but I prefer to do this on my pattern. So I'm cutting this out and I'll take this to my fabric and cut out exactly what I have here on my fabric. So I've gone ahead to cut this now and I have this on my fabric. So if you're cutting your splits on this lower part, you had some allowance for joining it back to the uh, to this pattern okay but i don't have enough fabric so on this upper part also you had half an inch seam allowance to join it so now i'm going to remove my pattern and i cut two of these for the two sides so i have this now and then for my lower waistline i cut four because i'm going to be using the second one as lining to turn the gathers that we're going to be doing here neatly and also to turn my button hole area so now the next thing I need to do is to gather this back to their actual measurement. So this waistline, I'm going to gather it to this. So I'm going to fold in my button hole so that it's not going to confuse me. So you go ahead and run a gather stitch here and gather this back to what you have here. Likewise, on the shoulder area, you bring in your back panel and what you have on the shoulder of your back. You gather this back to what you have there so i'll go over to the machine and do this now so i'm gonna have to run my gather stitch on the shoulder area and also on the hem so as a guide i'm going to bring in my pattern you can see my pattern and my slash and spread stops around here which means i cannot i'm not going to be gathering up to this place so now i'm going to place this on my pattern to guide me on where to stop my garden so i'll place this on my pattern now so i can move this now and then i'll place it on my pattern so once i place it on my pattern i know that my gathering is going to stop around here so i'll just place a notch there okay so after placing a notch there i'm going to gather what i have here
okay i'm going to gather what i have here and then i'm going to stop the gathering where i have my notch so to know how much i'm going to gather here i'll bring in the other pattern for the lower part which is this i'll fold in my button allowance and then i'm going to check if it's enough so that is how you're going to know how much gathering you're going to be doing here so if it's not enough you gather more if it's too much you're losing your gathers a bit likewise for the shoulder you're going to gather the shoulder then after gathering it you bring in your back shoulder panel and then you place it against it once it's equal you know you are on the right track so now i'll do this now and then we'll continue so after gathering this now i'm going to bring in the lower part now and then i've notched where my zipper my button allowance stops so i'll take it to the sewing machine now and sew them together like this so before you sew you need to aim this correctly this neckline area the v neckline part so you either fold it in like this if you had added extra allowance or you use your bias to turn it or you cut a facing to turn it most important thing is to make sure that this part is neat so i'll take this to the sewing machine now and join the lower part to my upper part then i'll show us how i'm going to turn it neatly so i've sewn it now i can see my gathering here so i just sew it to the empire and this is the button hole allowance and also i just folded this in so that it can be knit tentatively but you should cut a facing for this or you use your bias to aim it inwards like this so this is what i have remember i cut for for the lower part because i want to use it to turn all these rough edges so the next thing i'm going to do you can see the way i flipped this over like this so i'm going to be flipping to the main bodies and i'll just use this to cover this hop like this so after covering it up i'll take it to my sewing machine and then i will sew it here following this thread and also along the button hole area so that's going to be neat so because of the buttons that we're going to be putting there you can add interface to this to strengthen it so i'm going to take this to the sewing machine now and sew like this and then along the button area so i've sewn this now and this is what i have so i just need to notch it on this corner so that it can be turned neatly and then you can reduce your seam allowance here okay so after doing this now the next thing i'm going to do is to turn this over and by the time i turn it over i'll bring out my button or allowance and you can see that it is neatly finished this is the inside of it this is the right side so it's neatly finished now both in and out so i'll do this for the other side also and then you give it a good press so after doing this the next thing is for you to bring in your back bodies taking your dart and then sew it on the shoulder you can see the shoulder is the same so you throw the shoulder together and then also join it on the side seam and your blouse is ready so i'll do this now and bring it back to show us okay so the shoulder has been joined together now as you can see and then i went ahead to sew it on the side seam so this is the waistline and you can see the gathers that we have on the waistline and also on the shoulder area and you can see the shape that the waistline is giving us so i just held that with a pin but you just need to fix your button and your blouse is ready you can see how beautiful this empire blouse is looking and i hope you enjoyed making this tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye